from NYU. I am a new student here and I've been a student for two weeks here. So they've issued me this pretty honorary ID. But uh, my name is Warner Isaac Berry and I've interviewed so many notable people, Nobel Prize laureates, Abel Prize winners, and uh, so many other people who have contributed so much to math and science. But I have never interviewed one of my own professors. So today I finally gotten that honor. I was given a problem that I didn't know at the time, but Stephen Hawking hadn't solved it. And it was given to me. Of course, I didn't solve it, but I took it one step further than Hawking and I was able to publish a result. So I got my PhD in two years, actually, which is considered to be very fast. So, so Laura, so write down any four digit number. <laughs> okay. Um... I'm glad you chose something other than what I was afraid of. Right? And I'll tell you what that is later. Okay. Now write down the biggest number you can make up with these digits. Um, okay. Write down the smallest number you can make with these digits. Can you not just arrange them in reverse order? Yep. Now subtract. Okay. Uh, oh crap, that might take a bit. Um, 52 minus 7, that's okay. Uh, let me just do this the normal way. Have to um, do, 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 okay. 5085. I have to take your word for it. I don't do it this way, but uh, okay. Now go through the same procedure. Write down the biggest. Uh, with these digits? Yes. Yes. So that's going to be 8,550, and the smallest... You're allowed to use zero. You're allowed to use zero. Oh, so, okay. So then that's pretty easy. I think you can just make 7,992 once you subtract these, because it's just 8,000 minus 8. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, and then do the same thing again. Um, I think you can make 9,972, and then... 2799. So um, I'm just going to say this is 2800 and then uh, add one at the end. Um, and that's seven. So it's going to be 7173. Keep going. Okay. Um, seven, uh, seven, seven, three, one, yeah. and one, three, seven, seven. Um, okay, that's one that I can't do too easily either, so four, um, five, three, and six, Keep six thousand three hundred fifty-four. I have a feeling it's going to lead to a palindrome of some sort. Um, oh, three, four, five, six. oh, that's pleasant, six, five, four, three, three, four, five, six. Um, let's go to seven, that's eight, um, that's zero, and that's three. And keep going. Okay. Where is... This the... is taking longer than I thought. So usually we get somewhere faster, but never mind. Maybe I picked a number that you were secretly afraid of. Who knows? Oh, that wasn't it. Um, okay. Okay, 8,352. Keep going. Um, <laughs> hey, that looks like the Fibonacci sequence, actually. Um, okay, just going to do this pretty quickly. That's one and that's six. <laughs> How many iterations will this take? Oh, okay. Right. Keep going. 7,641. This has to lead to a palindrome, I'm guessing. Um, that's four. Seven, one, six. What happened? Hey, wait a second. That's the same thing. Right. So what's going to happen? The same thing with what? Um, as the last time. Oh, right. the last step. 
Right. So this is the kind of number where if you take A, B, C, and okay, if you arrange the numbers A, B, C, D, yeah. and then D, D, C, B, A yeah. in increasing order, then it's going to give you some rearrangement right. of A, B, C, and D. And no matter how you do this, you will always end up with a uh, six one seven four called Krapeko's constant. And this was found by some amateur mathematician. He was just a high school teacher who loved playing around with numbers. And he, he discovered this. It's very funny. Yeah. I mean, with the fact that you have to always sort them in uh, increasing or decreasing right. order, right. I, I thought it would approach a palindrome or something. And I thought that it would converge much faster. Right. Usually it does. 